Well, we're fixing to head out again for a outdoor adventure. I went ahead and torqued all my lug nuts, made sure they was to spec on the Jeep and also the camper. It's a Rockwood 1910 ESP. Good idea to check your lug nuts on your trailers, guys. Something you should just do before every trip. But yeah, we are loaded up and ready to go. So I'm not gonna waste a lot of time here. And we're not taking the ice co this time. I'm just taking a regular cooler. And I'll just transfer everything into the refrigerator in the pop-up if we need to. Got the chairs and the table on the roof rack. And waiting for Ashley to get home and then we will be on our way. More to come. Okay, babe. This time I'm actually recording. Where are we? Big Coon Creek Campground off of kind of the west, northwestern side of Gillum Lake in Arkansas. This is our home for the weekend, guys. There's a lake. There's Remy. There's picnic area with a good spot to set your lawn chairs out and enjoy a fire in the fire pit. And I don't know how far back this little cove goes, but we're off this cove here. And it's very hilly. I'll show you behind the camp or the, the campsite. It's, like, it's very hilly. Very pretty here. Looks like there might have been some storms through here recently. There's several trees missing their tops. But it's, I think it's in the mid 60s. It's pretty chilly considering it's been in the High 70s, low 80s lately. Um, so this little cold snap is unfortunate, but we're gonna make the best of it. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a road barricade back there. I wonder if there's a hiking trail somewhere along that ridge on that hill. But we just got here and we're setting up getting things ready so we'll talk to you later well it's Friday evening and we finally got set up having a little problem with the water spigot leaking they have pressure valves on them and uh, the rubbers are all messed up and the ones I have are for water hose not for the pressure relief so I'm going to have to get with the park people tomorrow. Or for now, I'll just turn it on when we need it and turn it off when we don't need it. And I could always put water in our holding tank and just use the pump in the camper. But it's getting pretty dark. It won't be long. I won't be able to film nothing. But this is our site. It's a real nice site here at Big Coon Creek. Big area. I got a nice fire pit over there. We're not probably gonna light it tonight. A few people here, but it's not full. Eighteen dollars a night, I believe, is what we paid. We got water view behind us. But we'll show you more in the morning when you can really see it. Right now, we're fixing to go in and eat some supper. Talk to y'all in a bit.
Well, it's Saturday morning at Big Coon Creek Campground. We've got the big old moon over here on this side. And then we've got the sun coming up over here on the other side. Me and Remington took a stroll. And you can't see it, but our camper is over the hill over here. But we're gonna walk around and go back up to the camper because I've got coffee ready. I wanted to take him for a quick walk this morning. That's beautiful. So we're just walking around checking out the other campsites because the campsite's not full today or this weekend and this one's just right up from us it's up higher than us and all these have these nice fire pits and th we thought these big rocks was pretty cool you don't have to have nice view of the woods nothing behind you There's Ashley. We've been lounging in the camper. What spot was this? Ours is site 14. And I think that one's 15. So this one's possibly 16. Yeah, this is site 16. Looks pretty level. The thing about site 15 is canopy opens the wrong side. So I guess it'd be best for like tent camping. And by that you mean the power poles on the wrong side to put your camper out, right? Well, no, if they put their awning out, it'd be looking at our camper. Oh, okay. Unless you could pull in forward. Here's a little section that I didn't even know existed. But we're going the opposite way that you would drive it from the boat ramp. You see the road goes around and it goes to the boat ramp area so there's a road that you would actually go straight and then you'd come in from the boat ramp now i don't know if this is like a little group area or i don't remember seeing it on the app site 21 and 22, and 22. all over here by itself Flooded. Yeah. Can tell by looking at. Yeah, flooded. water. Yeah, we just talked to a guy. He said oh, a lot of this was underwater. What last weekend? Yes. But you can tell by looking at like the road is all muddy looking. And on the side it says to pay attention to your weather because uh, if the rain comes in heavy, the cost top flows into this. It uh, can flood really quick. But yeah, I didn't, didn't see those two spots there on the app when I was looking at vacant spots to, to get. All right, we're going to walk on down toward the boat ramp. And Remy's pulling me along. All right, we walked on down to the boat ramp. You can see the boat ramp right over there. See a little more of the lake back up in there. Really pretty lake.
And it goes around back toward the campground where we're at. This is a swim beach. And then the campground that we're in. And we went to those spots 21, 22. We walked up that road there, which is a one way road. You would actually come on down to the boat ramp and then come up this road that we're standing on right here. Beautiful place. And as the water gets deeper, really nice swim beach. It looks really sandy. But you can tell the water's low right now and it's hard to believe if the water was 30 foot deeper uh, last weekend. If it rises that much, that quick, and goes down, that moves a lot of water. And you got a bunch of trees that washed up there. There's debris all over the place. You can see it up on the sides of the hills. You can tell it's been in the water. Some of it's been in the water a while, like that log right there. All right, I got to put the phone up because he is just pulling me all over the place. I was gonna see what this little thing over here was. Maybe I'll keep it going just a little bit longer. Let's see a picnic table down. I see two picnic tables down there, a barbecue grill. So fish, this is the fish cleaning station, and he's pulling me right to it. Catch some fish, get a place you can take care of them. picnic tables and there's another area up in here I just walked to the top of the hill picnic tables and barbecue grills. And it keeps on going. We may have to get in a Jeep and drive up. Hey Remy, you having fun? We fixing to go for a ride. So we discovered another section that we have not been through and we're gonna go walk drive through that because I did not think I could make that walk but Remy's just chilling in the back seat waiting for dad Well, this is Sunday morning. We're just now getting coffee made. But I had to pop out of the pop-up to 
get a picture of the sunrise. A little bit of haze on the lake. I haven't seen a lot of wildlife this weekend. Sun's pretty shining in the woods. All right, well, I'm gonna go finish up my coffee. And we're just going to enjoy the Sunday morning. We'll probably start packing up after lunch. We don't have to leave this area until six o'clock or five o'clock. Five o'clock, I believe it is. It's a quiet night. Campground's not full. And we found some more areas in this campground that I just didn't realize was here. It's on around the other side of the swim beach and the other side of the boat ramp. There's, uh, I don't know, eight, maybe eight more campsites, maybe more. But we, I took pictures of over there and I'll notate that area when I do a video. Jeep's got a lot of moisture on it. No one ever moved into the campsites on this side. Some really cool campsites. But it's a little chilly this morning. I think it got in the 50s last night. But we will see you in a little bit. This is our view while we're sitting drinking coffee on the right hand side of the camper or the front of the camper. Or I guess I should say door side. And I thought I'd go ahead and notate that we have AT&T as a cell carrier and we've had no signal throughout the campground. Not a big deal to us but to some that may matter. AT&T, no service for us. A whip or wheel. All right, let's go back to drinking coffee. Okay, we just passed the sign that said Little Coon Creek Campground. So we're just now entering. We passed the restroom already. There's a playground. I think there's 10 campsites in here. There's no one, nobody's here. I see electricity. I don't think there's I don't see any water. I do see electricity there though. No, it's a There's water. speaker, a spigot though. There's water for both sides right there. More electric. Trash receptacles over here. This is just drive through. We're fixing to go back to Big Coon and pack up and head toward the house. But we figured since we was right here, but yeah, there's water, full hookups, other than sewer, which we don't have sewer at Big Coon. Pretty nice areas. It looks like the campsites are actually further apart than at Big Coon. I like that one right there. Is that one right there? Here's number eight. That's got a step up, but it's by itself, kind of. That was number what, nine? Eight. Eight. The one that you missed back there that was on my side was very nice. Right next to eight. That's number seven. It's nice. It's like a little creek running behind it. And then the boat ramp should be up here.
Well, there ain't well, nobody camped here. Boat ramp's in use, though. Little Coon Creek Campground. View the lake over here. The boat ramp's down there. Let's see what's up here. Looks like a dangerous area, maybe. It's pretty steep. Day you Siri. You can see the boat ramp right over there. really steep right here you see little picnic tables and a little area right there on the water that's pretty much it for little little coon hey team what we're doing right now watching the winchesters we're just hanging out in the camper and enjoying it but we do have a really pretty view of that window right there but yeah, sometimes you just gotta chill inside the camper.